There is evil in this world. It is real. It takes many forms. Animals, people, spirits, and demons. It is difficult to accept, I understand, that there is absolute evil in this world, inflicting wickedness on innocence for pleasure. But let me assure you, evil and its manifestations are very real and are very deadly. Lesky's face tightened and his forehead furrowed. Your Aunt Milmore was at the heart of a cult that worshipped a prince of hell known as Baal, or Baal, as he has sometimes been called. His worshippers are Baalists and formally follow Baalism. Baal is the devil. He is known by many other names. Lucifer, Satan. It is all the same evil being. Richard, hell and heaven. They are real. They are physical places. Because of free will, independent thought, and open expression, politics and conflicts erupt everywhere, even between celestial beings. Some celestial beings proved more aggressive than others, and some extremely powerful and shrewd, unwilling to compromise in their views. Some celestials rejected heaven, and they waged war upon it to change it to their vision. Baal leveraged his shrewd perceptions of what motivated his peers and minions, and he exploited them to encourage more celestials to rise up against heaven with him. Baal as their leader, as their king. King Baal convinced six other archangels to join him against his waged war against heaven, which would become known as the Great Divine War. But after their defeat, they were banished and exiled forever from heaven. They could never return. But God created an underworld within each planet, forming a multiverse of hellscapes and torments throughout the universe. Collectively, they are all hell. Each fallen angel donned the title of a prince of hell. With Prince Baal being crowned as their king, he was the king of hell. Time would serve and call him Lucifer or Satan. But in this world, he is in fact Baal. Baal proudly boasted he would rather be king and rule in hell than serve in heaven. Of course, his fellow fallen angel brethren would serve him as he decreed being their king. However, his fellow princes of hell had their agendas too. Out of spite and hatred of heaven, the princes sought to corrupt and eventually destroy God's precious humankind. Baal concluded the best way to distress heaven and God the most would be to influence people to go against God's teachings and principles. And so the princes of hell derived the seven deadly sins. Each prince of hell had a natural propensity of wickedness that they loved to exploit. And so they assigned each prince their own deadly sin to own and inflict and maximize its horrors upon humankind. Seven princes of hell and their cornerstones of the seven deadly sins. Baal, Lucifer, king of hell, or Satan, was pride. Mammon was greed. Leviathan was envy. Asmodeus was lust. Beelzebub was gluttony. Belial was wrath. And Belphegor was sloth. 